how we running with the chicken breast today. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's how we do that. So we're going to take a big chunk out of this and we can enhance it with some uh, dead red spray or whatever the case is. But like we're going to take this big chunk right here. Look at this. And we're going to just break this into multiple pieces. So like just cut off little sections like this. And matter of fact, this might be OK. So let's throw this on the hook. I'm thinking about sitting this on a bigger hook. Look at them. Let's cut this excess piece off right here. All right, all right, y'all, let's get this chicken breast out here. We're gonna do the other one the same way. Y'all stay tuned. All right, I think we got a fish on. Got to fill out for him. I think we had a fish on. I felt him and now I don't feel nothing. I want to make sure he's there. Oh, I think he might've got off. All right, I'm gonna throw this back out here. But what I'm gonna do is cast far. When I get close to those racks out there, there's there's select water like i mean the wind doesn't uh touch the water way back there so i might have to cast farther to keep you know to get where the fish might be at fish no what i'm going to do is actually reel the other rod in and i'm gonna keep it low like this the reason why i want to keep it low like that is so that it won't be so high in the air the higher it is in the air the more you can see the wind um affect the tip of my rod movement all right so we're gonna try to get this as far as we can out that away so let's see what we can do <laughs> okay so i got it where i want it i think we got it oh no that's a good that's a good channel cat Ye oh yeah yes it is it's got some weight on it i think we got us a nice decent channel cat for real i don't want to yep this is a decent channel cat oh yeah this is a real good <laughs> It's a real good channel cat off the chicken breast. Yeah, he is fighting me, boy. He got some weight down there. Might not even be that big. He might just because it's shallow. All right, here we go, y'all. This is what I'm talking about right here. This thing got to weigh 10 pounds or more. Anytime you catch a channel cat that's 10 pounds or more, that's an admirable catch. This is what I'm talking about. Let's weigh him up. Oh, let's look at him first before we do that. I got a bag I'm going to use instead of using the net to weigh up my fish from now on. That's a decent channel cat right there. The bag weighs absolutely nothing. It's a real light red bag. Here. All right, y'all. So here we go. We're gonna weigh it out. It's at zero, zero, as you can see. Let's see how much this fish weighs. Nine point eight. Yep, this is a nine pound channel cat. These channel cats ain't been reaching ten, they just been right up under it. Oh yeah. I thought it well at least I was close. I mean if you say ten pounds, I mean look at them though. Make sure it's ready to go. Oh there we go. All right, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. I think we got the fish on this rod. Oh yeah, he's coming right towards me. He's coming right towards me. Yep, there you go. Dude, it's a little guy. It's a little guy. Yeah, see? He was a little guy. They are down there eating, dude. Yeah, see, they nice and fluffy, man. They got they got some girth. Look at this, right in the corner, dude. But it almost got his eye. And it's crazy because you don't be wanting to use bigger hooks for a little fish because you be scared of that. And still, if they bite that hook right, still can get their eye. And you see, all right, here we go. Let my stepsister release it. <laughs> there you go. Get their mouth on that hook, you know. And, you know, channel cats can get very aggressive, but I think that's good right there. As long as that hook is exposed, voila. So let's get a nice little cast on that. I'm going to try to get it out there. There's a specific spot I actually want to hit. We can do that. That's a good spot. That's a really good spot. Can't even get mad at that one right there. Can't get mad at that spot right there. That is that is decent. Well, then we got another fish on. Got him. Fish on. Oh, there we go. I don't think he's super heavy, but he got he's bigger than that last one. I can tell you that. Yeah, but I'm just using chicken breast right now, man. Like chicken breast usually take a little while to get a bite, but it does catch decent channel cats here. Where I'm from, I almost look like a dang old. Look at that. I seen this big old mouth, huh? I seen this big old mouth. Look at that. 
Oh, be careful about doing that. Be careful, be careful. I don't always head first. Let him go head first at all times. He will. That's a decent channel cat right here. There we go. So we caught us a nine pounder. We caught us a, a couple, one that was like at least two pounds. And then this one has to be. Say like six. This one. Yeah. Six seven. yeah, this one definitely about seven pounds. There we go. See? Oh, oh. Uh, yes, he is. See, I got a cat. there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Decent fish. Let's get that bag real quick. Gonna put him in the bag and we're gonna weigh him up. He is feisty. All right, let's see how much he weighs. He's got to be about six, seven pounds. And let's weigh him up. Definitely. Seven eighteen. That's what I'm talking about. Look, so you can see seven eighteen. Yep. So we got a seven pounder. We got us a nine pounder and this bag doesn't weigh a thing. It doesn't have no weight. It's not even it's, it's a light feathery thing. That's what I'm talking about. See anything like over five pounds in my opinion, I just I don't keep and then you get a nice release on them. So we call this a seven pounder, nine pounder. That means when you catch fish like that, that means there's some 12s, some 15s, 14s, up to 20s floating around here somewhere. So whoa, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, the release splash <laughs> all right y'all got them hands why all right let's see what else we can get into all right got a fish on right here i've been I'm getting some funny action over here i don't know if he's still on there or not but i was getting some funny action right here i don't feel nothing now it's like he tried to bite it and got away from it i think we got a fish on right here chicken breast seem to be really doing a job today all right, all right, y'all, here we go. Fresh chicken, I gotta keep the fresh chicken out here. Like, I gotta keep it, I don't wanna, wanna keep them with fresh chicken. If I reel it in, it's over with. That means I gotta change that bait. You know, chicken, chicken get waterlogged kinda fast. Oh, good cast. So I cast directly where I wanted to. Now I got a bite on the left rod, so what I gotta do is check that, but what I'm gonna do is actually change that hook. So y'all just stay tuned. And we're gonna put a uh we'll put a mad catter hd hook on there probably all right y'all so i changed to a mad catter hook right here i believe this is the uh seven knot i figured i might change it to it um uh, put bigger pieces on there try to motivate some bigger uh channel cats to take that bait you know i'm down so i'm gonna cast over here right in this corner oh i love it so that was a good perfect spot perfect cast so y'all stay tuned, man. Hopefully we, uh-oh, don't want to hit my other rod. Don't you hate when you hit your other rod and you just get that excitement thinking you got a fish on? Yeah, I did that. Oh, I got a fish on. Got a fish on. Off the, I think this is chicken breast. I don't know if this, I can't remember if this is the dead red chicken breast spray or not. Oh, we're going to see, hopefully. Yeah, see, I can bring him in easy. Yep, dead red. Man, I'll tell you one thing though, all these uh, channel cats been a little on the hefty side. Yeah, this is definitely like a, look at that, right in the corner of that mouth. Look at that, perfectly, perfectly. All right, we're gonna let Shayna throw that back in the water. Go ahead, let it get a nice little release on it. Let her take over here. I'm gonna wipe my hands off real quick. <clears throat> so I'm gonna throw back out there. I'm gonna throw some fresh chicken breast. I want to make sure I keep the chicken breast fresh at all times. I don't really want to throw the same stuff out there after I bring it back in and check it. But I did do that with that bait. But I sprayed it with some dead red. But you know, this next piece, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just go ahead and put a fresh piece on there. So y'all stay tuned. All right, I think I got a fish. Oh yeah, there's a fish on this one. There might be a fish on, yeah. Oh, wow. Got him. Uh, got him. Got him. Yep. Channel cat on the chicken breast. Yep. I don't know, but he's giving me some fight. He's not too big. Yeah, see, I knew I had to come back out this way. See, I was casting off to the left, and I don't think that's just a good spot. I had already mentioned that before, so I was just giving it a shot. I know back there is like a little hole right there. I didn't caught my best fish right there, but you know, sometimes that ain't always gonna be the case. Look at him. 
You wanted it, dude. You got what you asked for. I'm just. <laughs> That's one thing about Channel Cat, boy. They just twist and spin, and they just look at that. Look at him. All right, hold on. All right, there you go. Yes, this is off the kale hook right here. I believe so. Yep. I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I'm talking about with the kale hook. Not quite the circle hook, so I have to find a way to get this hook out. Uh, there you go. There you go. See, that's the hook we're using right there. No, not this one. <laughs> got to get a nice little release on this one. But we're gonna get this. We're gonna get away on this one, actually. I actually get away on this one. This is a decent fish. This fish is actually. See, the only reason, cause look, check this out. He still got the spots on it. That usually spots always indicate young fish. I mean, this is a decent fish to be young. Like seriously. So we're going to, I'm going to have her hold the bag and we're going to get the scale right here. I'm going to make sure it's on, make sure the unit is right. It's at pounds. All right. And bam. Yeah. See, almost six pounds. 576. Yep. It was almost six pounds. Knew it was bigger than what it looked. I ain't going to lie. It came in light, but it was actually... A little bit bigger than what I what it looked like once I got it up. <laughs> they be ready to go too. All right, y'all. Let's get back up here. Put some more chicken breasts out there. And let's see what we can get. All right, I think we got a fit. Yep. Hopefully, hopefully this fish won't come off this time, and I don't think he will. <laughs> yeah. See, I knew that. I wouldn't gonna need a net for this guy. Don't need a net for this guy. And so you can actually grab the fish. That's this what these rods are for. These rods are so powerful. That's what I'm talking about right here. Definitely a good one. Say hello, little friend. Oh, he got hooked before. Look at that. See? Mm. You can tell. Yup. Look. You can tell he got hooked. Look. You can tell he got hooked before. No, it ain't gonna. It ain't gonna look like that. That's a healing wound. Yep, he got hooked before. I let Shayna throw him out there. There we go.